Hello and welcome to another update video about Doge. Dogecoin, yeah, yesterday we moved up to around, around 10, here 10 and a half cents. Um, but all of this was still part of this red wave count. One, two, three, four, with another expected low afterwards. Yeah. At the moment, we need to be very honest. There are various possibilities um, in this chart across all crypto charts, really. Um, there are various possibilities, but it's all about understanding, I think, the key invalidation points, resistance levels, pivot points, and so on. Here for Doge, yes, upside is possible in the blue count, in a wave five, all the way up to maybe 17 to 18 cents. Is it very likely? I must say no, yeah, because the probability is spread quite, let's say, thin across different scenarios, yeah. Um, and to be honest, my primary scenario is still the red one here, um, which would result in another low. I mentioned that yesterday, that unless we really cut through the wave one here, the low of the wave one at around 11 and a half cents, my view is actually that this wave four is still is still unfolding, uh, or at least that this is only a wave four, which would result in another sell off. Now, we've seen here now quite a bit of a drop since yesterday. We just need to observe it further now. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. Um, but generally, if we draw the FIPS for this way four, then yeah, I mean, I did say it yesterday, I think that here the, the, the 10.5 cent level is actually the level that the price shouldn't go above because if it does, then it's most likely not a way four anymore. Now it never substantially broke it. The real invalidation point is 11 and a half cents. So let's say above 10 and a half we would need to re look at this scenario again, right? But at the moment, we've reacted quite nicely to the 50% FIP level, knowing that Dogecoin, when the dog has a good day, it can max out wave targets, yeah? And it did have a good day yesterday. Not so much today. Um, in important to understand that this is quite an impulsive sell-off, so it could indeed be the wave five that's unfolding here with a target of around let's say no let's let's calculate that actually i think i did yesterday was it seven cents or something take the low of the wave one add it to the high of the wave four yeah one to one ratio the first target takes us to around 6.3 cents second target to three and a half the 1.618 extension so this is sort of what we could expect confirmation that we're getting there. I mean, the best indication we can get is probably that we break out of this channel to the downside and then take out the wave below here at seven cents. Yeah. Be aware of this trend line. If you lose this trend line, that's another confirmation that we are heading down lower into that direction. If we get a bounce from here, break to the upside, break through 10 and a half cents, then we could get, in my opinion, to 13.6 cents in a wave two, which would also not be a bullish pattern. It would result in a wave three down afterwards and then should we even go above that level, then I think we have to assume that we are actually in the blue count, which is the most bullish count on this chart, a highly unreliable one, which would be this one, two, sorry, a bit ugly, three, four, highly unlikely pattern, leading diagonal, and the way five to the upside. But primarily, I'm still looking at lower at the moment. Keep you updated. All right, hopefully you liked the update about Doge. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.